Scorpio, welcome back to Shacy Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. Thank you for being here. I'm so anxious to get started. I know you are. It's been a couple of days and I've been chomping at the bit to get another reading done. So I'm doing it differently. I just, I had the need to pull from different decks to see if we get any double, triple, quadruple co confirmations between months. I'm going to do October here and in the extended, I'm going to do November and December. So what I've done is I've pulled Oracle, I've pulled the Vintage deck here as well as a Tarot Sexual Magic, some advice and guidance messages, overall messages, and also the Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine, depending who you're dealing with. So it's messages from the Divine Feminine, from the Divine Masculine. So whoever you're dealing with, like I said, and some Angel Oracle messages, and we're just, we're going to start digging. I'm not going to clarify. In the extended, I will do the clarification for November and December if I feel the need to. We're just going to start digging. I just kind of wanted to play around and, and do something a little different. Okay, so let's get started. There's quite a few messages here, so it's going to take me a while to get through it anyway. So I anticipate that the extended is going to be quite long. December, for whatever reason, it seemed like a much larger month. So yeah, it is going to take a while, but it's going to be worth it. Scorpio, are you ready? Let's get started. We want to definitely see what's going on in our energy. So this could play out from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with. It could be a family member, a friend, a love interest, a daughter, a son, a co-worker, uh, whoever. You're all going to be different. Remember, it's general. Okay, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I also have the Shacy Prism Tarot in here for those of you that uh, you know, our repeat clients, uh, as you know, I use the Shacy Prism for the mutual energy. So there are mutual energies in here. So if you are dealing with somebody, the mutual energies are in each month as well. So let's get started. I'm so anxious and I know you are. Don't forget to hit the like button. It definitely helps other Scorpions to hear these messages. We need to help each other. I'm a fellow Scorpion. So, oh, I forgot. I was asked to sing happy birthday. I haven't done that, that, that yet this year. Oh, I'm getting tongue twisted. Somebody's tongue twisted. I can feel it. Are you ready? All right. It's a little bit early, but we're going to do it anyway, because you could be watching this now. You could be watching it three weeks from now. Either way, happy birthday, Scorpio. Are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to all of us Scorpions. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. No matter how you spend it, I hope you have an absolutely amazing time because you deserve it, Scorpio. All right, let's go. <laughs> Ready? Let's get started. First message. Oh, Ten of Cups followed by the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, you got the whole enchilada on your mind, Scorpio? So for those of you brand new, welcome to the channel. Again, I'm a Scorpio as well. This is my whole enchilada card. Wow, this is from the 1960s. You can see the color difference in the 1970s Zolar deck. So vintage, right? Very, very old. 61 and 51 years old. So this is definitely saying, Scorpio, either you're dealing with family right now or whoever you're dealing with is dealing with family, or this is you, um, you know, anticipating, wanting your whole enchilada. You want your, your happy family, your happy life. You want the home, you want the dog, you want the cat, you, you want the vacations. You just, you want it all with your person here, okay? You're looking forward to your future or you're dealing with family members or again, your person of interest is dealing with family. It's come up twice, so that's very significant this month. Family is on your mind, their mind. Again, for those of you that don't currently have a love interest, this could be somebody you're thinking about for the future. This is what you're wanting is that whole enchilada. Um, and for others of you, if you're already involved with somebody, it could be your relationships affecting family, families affecting your relationships, Relationship, whatever the case let's keep going here angel messages advice and guidance <laughs> archangel ragiel notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance so spirit says like if you're having things that are happening quite frequently here physical emotional feelings that's because you're trying your angels are trying to divinely guide you here into the right direction here and scorpio i'm kind of feeling like it's towards your ten of cups that's what you've been hoping wishing for longing for and i feel like spirit says we're, we're trying to guide you towards that so make sure it's really important to uh, really see reoccurring messages coming in for you here the feelings you're getting, any kind of physical, anything happening in your physical world here, uh, you're being divinely guided. Pay attention to that, okay? Love guidance message, release attachment. So somebody may need to release an attachment here. 
Let go of unhealthy attachments and connections that no longer serve you. Release the past so new doors can open. This is a period to get in touch with your inner strength and reclaim your personal power. Move forward to be free. Endings always bring new beginnings. So someone may need to release an unhealthy attachment here. Could be a family member for some of you here. Way of thinking, a person, a place, a thing here. There's something in order to open new doors or to get you to your happy whole enchilada, Scorpio. There's something that needs to be released. Next message. Ooh, we've got the High Priestess. This is the uh, other beautiful, gorgeous deck from uh, Usagi. <gasps> Ooh, Scorpio, Ace of Cups. Wow, Scorpio, something unexpected might come in here towards you. Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups here. Someone may be suddenly releasing attachment again. It's kind of like the High Priestess is trusting your intuition. Follow your divine guidance. Scorpio, this is your energy with the tower. I feel like once you release an attachment or someone releases an attachment, here comes in this big, beautiful Ace of Cups that's going to bring you to your whole enchilada, Scorpio. Wow, this is like the ultimate wish fulfillment here. This is having it all. Scorpio, way to go. This is looking magnificent. This is a blessing from the universe, something totally unexpected. This could be something that's kind of like unknown right now with the High Priestess. You're meant to trust your you know, divine guidance again. It's all over your reading. Something's being released, so something new can begin here. It could be an unhealthy family attachment here, perhaps. Something is bringing in something beautiful. Ooh, we got the, the Tarot of Sexual Magic here. We have the King of Cups and the King of Swords. Oh, Scorpio. You could be dealing with an air sign or a water sign. This could be the same person, okay? They could have a lot of water and air in their chart. They could be taking on the energy. This could be the same person or two different people. Each one of you is going to be different. Remember, it is a general read. The King of Cups, it's interesting because we've got the High Priestess here. This is somebody, the energy I'm getting here is this is somebody very, very serious, very focused, highly intelligent, full of a ton of emotion here. And it's almost like there's silence and then they're going to burst into this love. It's like I'm bursting. I almost get a bursting feeling of, of coming into the Ten of Cups, like an offer coming in, new love coming in, something that's overpowering, shocking out of the blue something you may not be expecting here Scorpio it's it's like it's interesting because it's like this king of cups has a lot of motions stirring within them and it can be you Scorpio because you you are the king of cups but you could be dealing with somebody taking on the energy is more what I'm feeling and I'll tell you why we've got a couple here we've got a lady here it's kind of looking in the background and it's kind of like this King of Cups, King of Swords energy, somebody, it's, it's like a silent, strong type of person is really doing a ton of thinking and like worrying about maybe you being with somebody else or other people involved or people getting in the way and they're getting really, really kind of frustrated and it's almost like this expo explosion happens and like they're bursting at the seams with love and they can't stand it anymore and it's like they're going to break their silence because we go from, uh, you know, the tower here and the high priestess and the ace of cups. It's like they're ready to burst their silence. Somebody who's been silent for a period of a long time. So if you're dealing with a divine feminine, divine feminine would like to say, I've looked at other girls profiles you talk to and what do you like about them? What is it you like about them? So the divine feminine could be worried that, you know, um, you're getting attention from somebody else or you're dealing with other uh, divine feminines and, and it's kind of like, what do you like about them? Like, what do you see in them? And, you know, I feel like maybe the divine feminine is getting a bit jealous, a bit worried, a bit upset. Remember, flip it how you need to, okay? I fantasize about you all the time. I touch myself thinking of the things I want you to do. I really love your body and soul. Woo, we're getting kind of hot here. I think the divine feminine is really kind of wondering and fantasizing about the divine masculine here, thinking, you know, I really want to see you. I want to be with you here. But also a little bit on the jealous side, which, you know, definitely makes sense. Like I was saying with the King of Swords and the, and the King of Cups here, this could be going both ways here. It could be Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine feeling the same way. Thinking about you being with someone else, vice versa here, and or others involved. Again, maybe family, friends, interference, other love interests, something. It's like there's this maybe jealousy or worry going on here between the two is what I'm getting. 
I hate when you ignore me. I feel physical pain. So somebody's feeling like, you know, this is, this is not feeling so hot right now. Somebody's feeling physically ill, physical pain. Again, like I said, it's like imagining here, like you being with somebody else, vice versa here. And it's kind of like, I can't stand this, you know, are you talking to other people? So I feel like there's a little bit of a, um, somebody's ready to explode their emotions is what I'm getting. Divine masculine messages. I know I'm running out of time and patience. So I feel like the divine masculine knows that the clock is ticking and that tower here is your energy, Scorpio. It's like an explosion, an expression of love, like a bursting at the seams I'm getting here. Somebody knows they're running out of time and, and it's kind of like we've been getting kind of this panicking energy going on lately. I finally see. So <laughs> divine masculine is finally seeing after doing some shadow work, some changes perhaps they needed to make or some things that maybe that they could approve on um, that they weren't doing here. You know, they maybe are seeing your perspective. Again, it depends who's watching as to whose perspective this resonates from. But it's like, now I'm bursting. I'm ready to go. I'm finally seeing it's like, bam, like a light goes off in someone's head. And all of a sudden they're realizing, you know, I have a lot of love for you. And, and I'm, I'm worried about somebody else scooping you up or coming towards you or you giving them attention, vice versa here. It's like, no, I need to do something about it. And I need to do it right now. Like, cause I'm doing a ton of thinking here as the king of cups and the king of, of, of swords here. I'm ready to cut out whatever I need to here. And it's going to happen out of the blue because now I'm starting to realize now, now the light's going off here. Mm -hmm. Wow. I can't make this up. Right. The love guidance and advice message also said need to release. There's something somebody needs to release here, Scorpio, again. Yes. Okay. So we've got double clarification here now. We There's somebody or something we need to release. A family member, a friend, another love interest, a way of thinking, something here. Okay. And it's like, I'm ready to do this. And it's going to happen quite rapidly, I feel here. <sighs> somebody's going to need to fight for this or wants to fight for this connection is ready to stand up for themselves here they're ready to go for the gusto i'm getting here they're ready to release and they're ready to stand the ground and fight for what they want yeah and they're ready to do it at great speed here it's like i'm i'm full throttle here full throttle here this is about travel communication here scorpio you may suddenly get some communication this may be coming to you or this may be you sending out this communication something's gonna happen here quite rapidly here this is forward fast intense movement it's like look at that star got the whole enchilada here and i'm dead focused on it and how can i get to that star as soon as i can i need to move my butt here so bam it's like this is it mm-hmm <laughs> somebody's exhausted from all this thinking and all these emotions stirring around and spirit saying maybe you need to kind of take a little bit of a break here you've had a lot of heartbreak you've been going through a lot maybe you just kind of need to rest but I feel like somebody it, it's it's all these intense emotions going on that they haven't been able to express or let go they're ready to explode and it's kind of like you know, oh, you actually kind of need to take a break because you're overloading yourself here. Wow. <laughs> Let me know if this resonates. Don't forget to hit that like button. Again, it helps fellow scorpions. Let me all know what you're going to do for your birthday. Let's get the next message. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So some of you may be in a same sex relationship here or have a deep friendship with a very close friend here that you haven't seen in a long time as well. Getting together with them, hanging out with them. Maybe for your birthday, Scorpio. Ooh, some good news is coming, Scorpio. What was I saying? So expect some communication. I feel like somebody's going to burst in and say, I love you, Scorpio. I love you. Or this is you. Could be both of you. You never know. We've got that Ten of Cups twice. I have a feeling you and someone else are feeling the exact same way. You both want the whole enchilada. Yes. Next message. Mmm. Oh, oh, and look, we've got the sun here for December. Scorpio, things are heating up here. Okay, nice. We've got the three pentacles, the sun, and the world. Beautiful. Major arcana here. So huge events happening coming in the near future. So we're getting these messages in October, November, December here. And it's like, you know, even though I'm getting these messages now, they could play out several months from now. You're each going to be different as to what timeline you're on. But this is about, I want to work together with you, Scorpio. I know we can build 
this whole enchilada together. It's like they're going to bring their feelings out into the open. Everything that was hidden there with the high priestess is coming out here. It's it's like, you know, I'm ready to start brand new here. This could be somebody coming back around to you, traveling towards you, uh, may want to travel in the future to somewhere warm as well here with the world card and uh, the sun. They see traveling with you here in the future. You could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, or another Scorpio here. This is, you know, I'm going through this completion. I'm closing a chapter. I have a new beginning. I love you. It's like they're ready to burst. It's almost like they want to give you this news that they're releasing everything and they want to tell you how much they love you. And it's like they've been waiting to do it here. We can work together here to have abundance, growth, success. We could go traveling together is what I'm seeing here. They want to do as well with you here. Mm-hmm. You could be dealing with someone who's older for some of you, Scorpio, or somebody here that did do their shadow work and they've matured here quite a bit. Could be somebody that is going through a rough patch here financial-wise as well here. They could be going through a, a period of lack in their life at the moment here. Mature man doesn't have to be a love interest. This could even be a friend um, that comes towards you here. Maybe they need your help as well. Mutual energies between you and whoever you're dealing with, Scorpio. <laughs> we got the whole enchilada again, Scorpio. And I want an equal give and take relationship. This is going to be a very balanced relationship. You're going to have it all with this person, whoever this is for you, Scorpio. They got a ton of love for you. They want success with you. They want the whole enchilada with you. They see that they can have teamwork with you, an equal exchange here and partnership here. You know, it's like this person will be on your level and give you as much as you give them. They are going to be your equal partner here. You're going to have everything together and a lot of happiness here with that sun and a lot of abundance here. Uh, going forward very nice you got the whole enchilada three times in October Scorpio that's awesome Ooh, you could be dealing with a king of pentacles Ooh, we got the chariot OMG Scorpio hello you've got all four kings your person is either embodying all four energies meaning that they got a lot of passion for you they want stability with you they're thinking a lot and planning things here and they got a ton of love for you and it's like they're embodying, you could be dealing with an emperor. We've got all four kings here. But regardless, you could be dealing with more than one person. Like I said, there are challenges. Somebody has to stand up to others. But you you may have more than one opportunity here, Scorpio. You may. You may have a choice to make. Although I'm not seeing that here other than the four kings, which your um, love interest, whoever that is for you, whoever you're dealing with, could be embodying all those, those kings because we can do that. It's energy, right? We've got fire, water, air, and earth. Like I said, they're ready to explode. I feel like it's the same person embodying all those kings. And we've got the eight of wands and the chariot. So it's like, I'm ready to burst. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to take quick action. It's almost like they want to say what's in their heart before they change their mind. You understand what I'm saying? They're ready to burst with excitement here. Uh, that they are releasing something or someone or stood up for themselves or fought for this connection or um, they've they've done their shadow work. They realize that they were defensive before. They've changed their mind, something like that. But this is someone you can have an equal partnership with and have the whole enchilada. Maybe it just finally occurred to them that they can have everything with you. You know, they, they can have the abundance and the success, the home, the family, everything like this is somebody that has a lot of passion, a lot of love. They're stable. They're uh, highly intellectual. This is what I'm feeling. Or you're dealing with more than one person, Scorpio, that perhaps you've had to stand up against uh, in order to move forward here to your rightful path. It's about going towards your rightful path. And it's like, I'm, I'm ready to burst at the seams. Somebody's ready to burst at the seams. That's what I'm seeing here. Oh, look. Hello, love. <laughs> Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. So I feel like you and someone have a lot of love for each other. You can have an equal partnership here. You can have the whole enchilada, the abundance, the success, the happiness. And this is like also having self-love for yourself as well. I feel like that's why it will be an equal partnership. I feel like you both... Uh, you know, have an intensity here because this is definitely somebody that's embodying all these energies that I'm feeling here. And I feel that that will complement your Scorpio is what I'm seeing. There's going to be a ton of attraction, love, 
passion. You're not going to be short on anything, Scorpio, from what I'm seeing here. And it's unconditional love for each other. You can't bring each other unconditional love unless you have self-love and respect for yourself as well, right? And that cup is bursting over. Moon message. Angry. Okay, so this is somebody that is possibly, again, like I said, bursting at the seams. Remember, I said they're ready to explode and stand up for themselves. So this is somebody angry, maybe ready to fight for this relationship, and is bursting at the seams and fed up. This could be somebody, it's like a kettle, right? You know the kettle when the when the water's starting to just simmer, 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 boil, 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 boil over if you let it? <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here. This is somebody that's hit that boiling point or will be in the near future. I'm ready to fight for what I want. Uh, again, they could be imagining you as someone else dating others. Maybe they're imagining all these other kings coming towards you, Scorpio. I don't know. Vice versa. Flip it how you need to. It can be with family members. We've had the Ten of Cups three times. So that's a very significant. Family is involved somehow. Either having a combined families, their family, your family, or you know they're um, looking at you as their whole family and they're imagining you dating others and it's making them angry the thoughts of it okay so something needs to be released in order to move forward let me read that again i want to read that again for you hang on release attachments let go of unhealthy attachments and connections that no longer serve you release the past so new doors can open this is a period to get in touch with your inner strength and reclaim your personal power move forward to be free endings always bring new beginnings okay and we have here twice the tower scorpio or the tower sorry the tower once in the death card so ending new beginning and we have the world card so it's like somebody's releasing an attachment that's unhealthy so that could be um, a family member family here involved it's, it's like i'm not sure it, it could be different for each of you right but there's something that somebody's needing to release and it's like they're they've hit the boiling point where it's kind of like that's it i'm i'm just ready to burst here somebody's ready to burst so they let them get they let themselves get to the boiling point is what i'm seeing here scorpio so this is going to accelerate in motion someone coming towards you here and communicating Next message, OMG, just as I said that, Scorpio, this couldn't be any clearer, seriously. We've got the Fool here and the Ace of Fire. It's like, I'm bursting. I've got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands. My passion is off the charts. Passion is off the charts. Love is off the charts. I'm bursting at the seams here. I'm ready to explode. I'm ready to take this leap of faith. I'm ready to stand up and fight for this connection. I'm ready to do it just out of the blue. It's like I want to do it before I change my mind. I'm doing it. I just saw 2222. I've been seeing that every day. Seriously, multiple numbers. Over and over angel numbers. 111, 222, 1111, 22, 22, 10, 10, 12, 12. It's just crazy. So Scorpio, something huge is happening soon around our birthday month, I'm feeling here. So exciting new opportunities and Spirit says your life is about to change. So get prepared, Scorpio. In incoming quick communication, a visitor, something here. And somebody's taking a leap of faith here. It's like expect the unexpected. There's an opportunity. Spirit says follow your dreams. Scorpio, beautiful messages. Okay, so this is going to be quite abrupt here, Scorpio quite abrupt here but look at this beautiful sun now the sun is one of the most desired cards in the whole deck in the first month here you know october we have the sun we have the world we have the fool um we have the death card and uh the world card so and the high priest ass so this is like something you're not expecting scorpio is going to come in towards you here this ace of cups is going to lead you to your whole enchilada that's what i'm seeing and it looks absolutely amazing so if you want to dig with me into november december i will head over to the extended now this is oh, this i love this for us scorpio right around our birthday month that's beautiful let me know how this resonates for you so i've got fire water air and earth here so but strong strongly is aries taurus um leo sagittarius aries cancer taurus capricorn virgo leo mm -hmm. taurus aquarius scorpio leo again so strong strong leo strong scorpio and that's about it that's the strongest signs i'm seeing here okay and the high priestess to me that's all the water signs yeah and Scorpio again, Scorpio, you're strong in your own reading, our own reading, not surprising enough, but you're dealing with somebody that is taking on the energy, I feel, of all four kings. So they are just, they're hot. They may be coming the emperor. 
okay? They may be becoming an emperor, taking charge of their life, fighting for what they want, which I feel is you, Scorpio. That's what I'm seeing. Or this is you fighting for exactly what you want, taking no prisoners. All right, Scorpio, leave me comments. Let me know what you're doing for your birthday. Happy birthday again, and I hope you have a fantastic one. I will be singing you happy birthday, I hope, in every uh, message that I send to you. So for those of you meeting me on the extended, I'll see you over there. For those of you uh, leaving me and seeing me next time, I'll see you in your next bonus reading. Uh, if you would like to join the Shacy Spiritual Warrior family, that's down below. That gives you unlimited extendeds, or you can pay as you go whatever you want to do. That's entirely up to you. I just gave you choices because that's what you asked for. So that's what you got. Let's start digging into November, December. Take care and I will see you all again soon. Namaste.